What is up everyone? Hope you're all having a swell day. Today's video, I'll be answering some community questions with my thoughts and hopefully see what you all think of it in the comments below. If you'd like for me to answer a question, feel free to leave me a comment down below. As always, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe if you are new. With that out of the way, let's just dive on in. Steve Gibbs asks, how would you make the faction war more meaningful to participate in? That's a very good looking question, Timmy. Let me tell you. So the first thing I'm going to do is drop a knowledge bomb on you. There was this old game called Dynasty Warriors. Have you ever heard of it? I'm pretty sure many of you have played it as a kid. But did you know they also had a PvP online experience just like For Honor? It wasn't as popular in the US compared to Japan or the Taiwanese server. However, it did roughly average around 2 to 3k players, pretty much like For Honor. And they also were a very loyal fan base. They had 4v4 game modes that involved PvP while also playing objective, capping bases, and a 12v12 player showdown where you'd have to have a lot of teamwork, capturing bases, fighting other players to win. Now this game was amazing at the time. Just one of my favorite games when I was a kid. Dynasty Warriors Online had campaign weekends where certain events Certain factions, like what we have, knights, viking, samurai, would face against each other on random game modes to earn points so they could capture certain strongholds on the map. This is exactly what For Honor is. But we have little to no incentive to even think about the faction war besides earning steel emblems and subjectively ugly ornaments. That's the difference between these two game modes right now. And I think if we flesh out For Honor on that specific campaign, we can make this game a lot more enjoyable. Now, I bring this up because one of Dynasty Warriors' main trope was idolizing these famous generals during the period of war in ancient China, and uh, as well as they should be, because these people, these generals were very important, such as the God of War, Guan Yu, which is pretty much very similar to Zhang Jun and For Honor. Same weapon, same beard. Take a look at Lu Bu, the peerless warrior who holds a halberd exactly like Lawbringer, and they're both the strongest heroes in the game right now. And of course, the halberd is the most versatile weapon in history, of course, uh, besides a gun. <laughs> so, each, so each general from the opposing side would appear in battle after a certain amount of points have been acquired, just like how For Honor's kings would appear in Breach when you reach third phase. Now, of course, game modes like 1v1s or 2v2s would work, but in bigger game modes like Dominion, Elimination, Skirmish, maybe not Elimination, but Skirmish for sure, and Breach, those game modes will work very swimmingly. And so for the heroes or the, the leaders that would show up, the knight faction, obviously we'd have Mercy, Dabini, and Holding Cross as well. And Samurai would have Momiji and Tozen show up in battle after points uh, for honor would start breaking the team. And so we'd make a last stand while trying to get all of our points back and have like two people defend the general or whatever. And I think this would be a great addition to make the campaign a more impactful experience and get give more depth to the for honor game. We see these heroes in the story and they're very significant individuals that shape the land there and shape the war. And so they honestly should be represented in battle alongside our allies. Like during the campaign weekend, of course, not every single game mode in the casual mode, but I personally would love to see this during a weekend of For Honor when a certain faction reaches a certain amount of points to initiate a campaign event or a campaign like rally or something like that. This would also help populate other game modes because realistically, People only played Dominion or Breach and barely 1v1s now. It's, it's mo mostly 2v2 modes and doing real brawls now. And so adding the random selection when joining the event campaign, it would diversify everyone's skill level. So the playlist is at random. Instead of just Dominion, it adds Deathmatch, Tribute, Skirmish, all the 4v4 modes, Breach as well. Now 1v1s and 2v2s probably wouldn't work as well, but they could possibly be an addition just because duelists and brawlers be able to participate in the fight and feel like they're contributing something to help with the campaign. I think having that community aspect of increasing the player base is going to help this game a lot. And now the most, I, I think the most important detail about the Faction War event is that the current faction you are in are the heroes that you can only play during the event game mode. This is very important. So if you're samurai, you will only be able to choose samurai heroes against other factions you are fighting. This will allow players to feel like they are fighting alongside their brethren and actually stimulate an, a real campaign against the other force. Are we fighting knights? Are we fighting vikings today? Remember, the days in beta where we had like four wardens or like 
one warden, one lawbringer, one peacekeeper, and then fighting against two kenseis, no brushis. Those were honestly the days, like betas, season one and two. Those were amazing. It's it's really nice to see that in a game where your faction is actually fighting against another faction. I'm not saying it has to be tribal or anything, but in a game where factions are at war with each other, it only makes sense to have samurai heroes only versus knight heroes only. It would make the game way more interesting and give communities a way to work together. I mean, whenever a campaign was launched on the weekends for Dynasty Warriors, there would be a wide, wide variety of players resurging back to play the game. Casuals, hardcore players, just trying to win the campaign for your country and for your faction. It was an amazing time. You would talk to your guild, form groups to fight other guilds, and try to win the campaign, and soon enough you'd realize that those people were in that guild and in that faction, and you'd have some sort of rivalry, and it was I think it was very healthy for the game. Uh, competition is always important when it comes to making a successful successful game. I believe this would be a great way to incentivize teamwork through the community and shed some light on this amazing game because this game was really popular when it came out but uh, there's so many problems dwelling in and people just left it and I feel like uh, adding this would create a new community so that Frontier can succeed. I would always try to play with my guild on the weekends to help with the faction war and honestly have a great time making good friends along the way making a great community overall. One of the main issues that Forerunner has is the incentive to keep playing. After all the ornaments, outfits, effects, and levels, we're basically left with mindless <laughs> mindless fighting and grinding. But I'm not gonna lie, it can, be, it can be very fun for some time. However, I think having a greater purpose can drive and give fuel for this game, such as campaigns on the weekend, faction wars, realistic faction wars where you actually are fighting for something. It will drive the longevity of this game because having the community involved in any game is going to be more successful and fact has proven that look at Rainbow Six Siege and all the other games that have worked up to where they are now. And I remember one of my friends, uh, Cloudy, he specifically asked me to strategically place uh, my points that I'm going to take uh, on a certain Viking area so that the, the Vikings wouldn't win every single season. Uh, and so I was like, why? Why would I do that? I have no, I have no reason to switch from Vikings to Samurai because Vikings win every, <laughs> win so much. You know, everyone has picked Vikings. They're just bandwagon you know? because we have no real incentive or no drive to actually stay with the faction. Some people are more passionate than others, yes, but you have to give us strong and real incentive. Are we getting more steel if we win the faction war? Yes, but that's the only incentive we have right now. There is no real. Um, battle that's actually happening because all the fights that we do in casual game modes and 4v4s, 2v2s, 1v1s and the dead game modes like tribute and elimination it doesn't matter because we don't see what really happens in the campaign we see that we're generating points sure but it's just all numbers and mumbo jumbo right that's at least how i see it i don't know if how you guys see it like that let me know but i just see it as numbers and mumbo jumbo and i ignore that and i'm just like i'm just gonna play some duels and uh, some 4v4s and have a good time because the campaign, it doesn't make, it doesn't really make, I mean, it makes sense, but it doesn't really relate to me. There's nothing really going on, nothing really affects me, because there's no consequences. And so if they made a game with consequences, and show the map, I mean, they show the map already, and we'd lose space, but nothing really happens, there's no event that happens. That's why we need the campaign events, and so during those events, we'd fight each other with Samurai only, Viking only, Warden, I would say Warden, uh, Knight's Hero only versus these factions, it would be a great way to showcase that the Frauner universe actually does matter. And instead of just random casual game modes, I think a lot of people would love that passion that the campaign gives us. It's a great feeling when you're actually in a war. I mean, not really, but uh, in a game where you're in a war and you actually win because of your teams and your faction working very hard. Right now, it's just everyone badwagon on the Vikings so we can get steel at the end of the season, you know? I, I feel like most people don't care about it, and you can see that everyone's just bandwagoning on Vikings. Samurai used to win, but the Knights used to win too, but now it's just Vikings because I don't know, everyone just switched to it. But let me know what happened because I honestly don't know. I'm assuming it's just bandwagoning and nobody cares anymore. But if you guys do care, let me know on what else, what you guys think about that beforehand. So everybody, I, that's my solution to make the faction war more meaningful. Recapping, adding the real heroes in the story mode to actually fight with us during these specific events when we generate enough points during the casual games. 
when we win enough points in the casual games to stimulate the event to come up. You know, this is going to be a lot of work, honestly, with on Ubisoft's side, because the community, we're not going to be able to really do anything to make it uh, the faction war more valuable. I'm sure there are certain posts in the community where they want to strategically place a certain amount of points so they can actually win the game. However, I think Ubisoft also needs to meet us halfway because we have our communities to generate certain teams, certain competition teams, and that will help us in a small area. But if Ubisoft supports us and starts coding in and creating a faction events for us to fight each other, uh, specifically only our faction, that would go a very long way. I think people would notice that and start partaking in the faction war a lot more seriously. You know, it doesn't have to be insanely competitive, but to a degree, I think having competition for for honor in a casual or like mediocre level is very important you want to see how your, your faction plays out and how well your community handles certain events and that would be the best thing that i would want for honor you know i think that's important balance is important too but having a way for the community to band together your faction your knights your vikings your your samurai to band together and overall, just have a good time. My voice is getting so raspy. <laughs> this is one comment that was like, watching Anna, <laughs> watching, hearing anime's voice get so raspy at the end. This is great. But yeah, like I was saying, that's my that's my idea. Having your generals join you in the event faction war, like Friday, Saturday, Sunday. That's when the faction uh, event would happen. We'd fight on random game modes, one v ones, two v twos, dominion eliminations, all that stuff. And we'd also have specific faction heroes only fighting uh, specific factions second point and that's pretty much it i think if there's any other ideas that you guys have please let me know down below because i'm i'm using this from previous games that i played before certain mmos and rpgs that have worked um and have made the community very strong and made people love that game because i know a lot of people have wanted this game to come back ever since the English servers on Dynasty Wars have been shut down and I know a lot of people still want to play it and want it to come back and so I personally am waiting for it to come back but I don't think it ever will because the market is not that good for Dynasty Wars Online. It has a great combat system, played your favorite heroes, make your own character, all that sweet stuff but right now I'm focusing on Frontier because it's my favorite game and yeah let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. As always if you enjoyed it please be sure to rate comment share subscribe if you guys are new because i post these community questions and i post gameplay every single day hope you enjoyed if you did peace out and good night